1945, what's going on? Ali here with episode four, the Appalachian Trail Years. So today we're gonna to talk about all the items, equipment uh, I pack. Now, the beautiful thing about the Appalachian Trail is they gotta say, hike your own hike. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some items that are gonna leave you guys scratching your head. Like, what did this boy take? And then there's some items I completely dropped the ball and forgot to take. Don't worry about it. We're gonna pick that up when we get over there. Uh, the good thing is I'm built like a tank. I'm built for this stuff. Don't worry about it. Um, let you guys know I'm not a photographer, aspiring to be one. Um, in today's video, you're gonna notice there's some parts where the camera doesn't focus the way I want it to, even though I'm moving it. Um, I learned only later on that the DSLR camera I was shooting with, there's an option for autofocus and I had it off. So hopefully in future videos, we're gonna fix that. Uh, today, just all about the gears, the equipment I'm taking. Um, I will put in the descriptions uh, the link where I got some of the items, the cost, and some information for you guys. So enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Appreciate you guys, peace. What's going on fam? Ali45 here, another episode. Today we're gonna do the Appalachian gears. Everything that's gonna go on the backpack is here, pretty much. Uh, let's break it down. And anybody out there that's like a new hiker, don't be nervous, I got you. First time backpacker, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it. Um, today, this is about 90% of what we're gonna take. There's some items that the shipment was delayed. It's on its way here. We'll get those in. Uh, and then there's some items like for cooking, the gas canister. We're gonna pick it up once we land in Atlanta and make our way to the approach trail. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's see. We'll get into the gear section by section. Uh, the first one, let's go ahead and get into our cooking. Uh, the main item we're missing here is the MSR pocket stove uh, 2 uh, but what we do got is the titanium spork we got the one that has the long handle because once we put our food into the Tokes 900 millimeter pot uh, we really don't want to dig around in there um, or burn our fingers or anything like that so what we're planning to have inside of here, there's nothing in here right now. So we'll probably have the gas container sit inside of here and probably a rag that'll help me clean the, uh, the pot. But that's pretty big. If we're gonna do top ramen or something in here, uh, we could drink out of it. This should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. Now I haven't had a chance to actually play with these yet. But it seems pretty straightforward. I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. So we'll have the gas canister in there. The cleaning rag. And we'll pack that up. Uh, I also got this here. It's the hideaway cup. It's collapsible so it completely folds and you can see about how thin I left all these items in the box just in case people want to actually order it or look them up but you can see how big it gets has a straw um, and that should actually keep it cold and warm depending on what you're making we went with the reliable Sawyer squeeze water filtration system uh, I believe there was a mini but we didn't get the mini we got the actual one here and that has a lifetime warranty and then we got the uh, cleaning cupper this right here basically sometimes there's sediment that gets uh, built up in the Sawyer squeeze so you need to backwash it 
so that's where you attach this onto another uh, water bottle so you can clean it out and we'll test that stuff out uh, this uh, is the sewer squeeze uh, system so it comes with a whole bunch of stuff uh, let's see here it's got its own little bags as well so if you guys can see that now you could collect water with this down the stream um, but from doing my research a lot of people suggested the CNOC this is the 3 liter bag so a little bit larger and I got pretty good reviews so we're gonna roll with this and again yeah I didn't really open many of these items just so you guys could see it uh, so complete newbie here the cook system pretty straightforward simple we're going to be eating a lot of MREs uh, meals ready to eat beef jerky things like that um, see what happens anything I need I figure along the way we're going to go ahead and pick up at Walmart and uh, stores along the trail uh, for first aid you got your basic essentials um, we got this emergency blanket here in case it gets a little bit cold um, we'll see I'm not even a hundred percent sure I'm gonna take that and what else do we got so these are the toiletries you got your basic um, collapsible toothbrush uh, toothpaste this is something mom's got me mosquito repellent wristband I like wristbands so I'm gonna rock it anyways uh, a lot of people don't but I'm gonna take deodorant why not this is the mini version ain't that big chapstick because on our hikes we found out man when it gets windy uh, lips mouth gets a little bit dry and we're gonna be on video of course your blade and these are just dispensable flushable wipes we might get something different but we'll see of course you're gonna have your um, Ziploc bags and once I land over there, we're going to pick up the trowel at the REI near the airport in Atlanta. I uh, really just don't want to carry it on the, in the suitcase. So we might add little gizmos, gadgets here, toiletries, cook system, really simple. Uh, let's move into the electronics. Now this is where pretty much I want it to be a little bit more detailed make sure I got everything uh, starting up here we'll have our basic cables so I'll take every type of cable USB-C uh, micro USB and uh, the uh, Apple cable the iPhone cable uh, let's see so we're gonna take an mp3 player just so I can listen to my music uh, when there's no cell reception we got a uh, eight terabyte portable SSD in case I need to back stuff up. Uh, we got a power block. This is a 30 watt one, fast charging. So it's got three USB uh, ports and one USB C. And we got a 20,000 milliamp solar power bank. It's got LED lights and a compass on the back, which is pretty cool. So this is something I could attach to the actual backpack. And we could get power even as we're hiking, which is pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description below. So you guys will have the name and the links where I got some of this stuff. I'll be carrying two power banks. This is another one. This is also 20,000 milliamps. This one has the QI sensor, so you can actually put the newer generation iPhones and Galaxies on here, and it charges wirelessly. In case your hands are cold, you don't want to look for um, cables and stuff like that. I think it would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to sneak in this little torch flashlight it's pretty bright and I like that it has this little light here uh, in case you're in the tent and it's dark and 
you don't really want to hold the flashlight you can just turn it on it's like a lamp and you can attach this on the top of your tent uh, pops used to do that for us when we were younger a lot of this stuff again it looks pretty bulky but we're gonna of course take all this stuff out of the box uh, this one I might take just for you guys so you can see the temperature and we can keep a gauge on it and of course it has a, another compass there um, this is just a camera mount so I'm gonna take this in case uh, we attach it to the selfie stick here and it'll keep it steady might be able to get some cool shots with that uh, we got our headlamp here and this isn't the one everyone's getting this is just a generic one but we tested it on our trails and it was pretty bright so there's different modes and it has the red one so we don't disturb people it has the emergency flasher and the cool thing I liked about this one is rechargeable so it uses USB-C and we can recharge it so with the power banks since we're taking two powerful power banks I should be good I shouldn't worry about battery with this one um, I also ordered this this is a Casio digital watch uh, I wanted to get this one because it has the temperature reading and a digital uh, compass just in case uh, the objective or the point of purchasing this watch was um, I don't really want to turn my phone on and off uh, too much I want to save the battery on the phone and uh, it has an LED light so at night I'll be able to see everything without wasting any batteries for other items um, our recording gear I'm gonna take a few different items we ordered the Acaso Brave 7. This is just a little bit more economical compared to the Hero, the GoPro Hero. Uh, this shoots in 4K. It's got a front uh, LCD display and also a rear, of course. Um, I have the prices and links for all this stuff and we actually tested this out. The quality was really good and it actually comes with a windscreen, which I thought was pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about all that gushing and wind sounds uh, you hear a lot. Also comes with a cool little remote. So if you want to set up the, the GoPro or the Picasso Brave action cam, you can uh, take shots while you're sitting down. We're going to take four batteries. So I'll have those all charged up and those will be in the fanny pack. We also got this selfie stick. This turned out to be crucial as we tested it on Coyote Hills and Mission Peak. This also has a remote, but we're not going to use that feature. I did order the Action Cam's chest plate. So I could actually wear this around my shirt. And I don't really have to hold it if I'm climbing up rocks or whatnot. We did want to get a good pair of Bluetooth headphones. Um, when we're listening to music or if we get signal this one here lasts up to 32 hours and I've been testing this out at the gym and stuff and it really does work it stays at 100% it's weird it drops to 90 but 92 never really goes too low and I've been using it for a long time it's the comfortable ones that wrap around the ear so while you're moving or, or anything it, it don't really fall out so I like that and of course the main uh, recorder is probably going to be the DJI Osmo this is the pocket 2 and this has the gimbal so it, it should take a steady picture when we're actually hiking uh, we're gonna we're gonna take the extended battery and the windscreen and of course we're gonna have to take a whole mess of uh, SD cards micro SD cards and this is a waterproof case 
So if it does rain, you don't have to worry about it. And if you take these out, there's another layer there. So this fits quite a lot. More than you'll probably need. So I will be taking my mini laptop. A lot of people are taking iPads, but I'm a PC guy. Um, I want to do my editing on there. So this is a touch screen, i7, 16 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 RAM. A few moments later. Okay, moving on. This little gadget we bought on Amazon. It basically connects to the strap of your backpack. It's universal. So it's got a universal fitting. And this one here is for water bottles. Or you can really put anything you want in there. But that'll attach to one of the brackets on your backpack. And this one is like a pouch. Again, universal. And this is uh, with a zipper. This was pretty cool. I couldn't believe the deal I got on this on Amazon because the fanny packs I've seen at REI and other places look really flimsy and were so expensive. But this bad boy, it's got so many compartments. You can actually put your headphones through there. It's an opening. And if we were to open the sides, these sides here, they're actually cup holders. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. So this comes out and it actually holds cups on either side, bottles, soda, water, whatever you want. And I put it on, it's really comfortable. It actually has cushion alongside here, which I'll allow it to ventilate as well. And it's got one large pouch there and another uh, hole here if you want to run any kind of wires or anything through it. This was awesome. So put a link to this one. This was pretty cool. This was by a company called Z-Pax. And I really haven't seen this or people talking about it, but basically your umbrella, this clips onto the metal bar on the umbrella. And this basically loops around your backpack shoulder strap. So this holds your umbrella. As you're backpacking, this holds it onto your backpack strap. Really cool. This was 10 bucks. Great invention, great idea. We're gonna take just a basic pair of gloves. Might even cut the fingertips off if I can't function the electronics with this. This is just to keep my hands warm. Uh, Nothing fancy, basic pair of gloves. Uh, let's see what else we got. Just a pair of shades. You know, keep the sun away from the eyes. Uh, let's see what else. We got a head buff here. You know, I don't think we're going to be able to gel and comb the hair too much. So this might be on the head a lot. Uh, this is like a neck and mouth buff it's like a fleece material and I like that you can actually tighten it so the quality is really nice really well uh, put together take that when it gets really windy or cold and we also got some um, earmuffs so it wraps around the head covers your ears so at any time I could probably be wearing one of these or all three of them. Depends on the weather. Uh, this here will be the base layer. If it's uh, really cold, we can wear these under the pants. We're going to be wearing either shorts, uh, bicycle shorts, or cargo pants. Um, but these are really comfy, keep you warm. We got darn tough socks. These are what we'll be wearing on the trail. Uh, these have a really good guarantee and people said you could take them back and they'll swap them out for you. So that was pretty cool. Um, 
in Jinji socks. So these separate the toes, these socks. And I'll probably wear those under the darn tough. Um, these along the way, if we run through them or wear them out, we'll just replace them. And you got your box of briefs here. This is a three pack. Uh, these are moisture wicking, keeps everything dry, uh, mesh ventilation. These should be comfortable. Um, we also picked up some waterproof socks. Uh, these are really warm, really well built by this company. So I'm curious how these are going to be. So maybe if I know there's a stream crossing or it's going to be a wet couple of days, we might rock these and leave the uh, darn tufts out. And then mom and brother got me these. These are insulated socks, super duper thick. So might wear these to sleep. Look pretty cool. I got these at Big Five. So those are probably be for my, uh, my nights. Um, what else we got? We got our rain jacket and pants by Frog Togs. This is the one people were really recommending in the forums. And the interesting one about this is pay attention to the size because you're not going to order the one that normally fits you. You go with a size larger because these rain coats and pants are going to go over whatever you're rocking. So I got one size bigger, fit really nice. Really thin, really lightweight. And again, we're gonna take these out of the package, of course. So you can see there, there's the jacket and pants inside of here. And I went with darker colors, just cause I don't really wanna, everything's gonna get dirty, but if you go with white or the light colors, it's really gonna show. Um, so we got these here. These are going to be like the running shorts, really nice fabric, uh, ventilated. Uh, these should be really comfortable. We got your uh, basic hoodie, I think I picked this up at Walmart. Something light, long sleeve, really comfortable. Everybody needs a hoodie. Uh, got these at Walmart as well. These are just your basic cargo pants. Uh, we got a dry fit t-shirt. I think this one was at Walmart too. And then this one I think my brother got me. This is a Nike dry fit long sleeve with the collar. Uh, kind of like a little really, really thin lightweight over, uh, over jacket. This right here was really badass. I got this at Walmart and this is your down jacket because everybody was ordering those $250, $300 down jackets and I found this one on Amazon. It costs about $80 and it's a $650 fill. But it's got all these compartments. It's really well put together. Stitched and I tried it on, it really keeps you warm. One thing I really liked was, you can actually cinch up the bottom. So this really retains heat. I could put it on right now and I already feel hot. So, loving the color, loving the style. We're gonna take some Bay Area swag to the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Everybody else is going with like, you know, it's how applicable we go with a little bit of style. Um, let's see what else we got. I picked these up. These are to hopefully prevent any shin splints, uh, calf compression sleeves. There's a left and a right, of course. So we'll wear this when we feel the need. They're really small. I, I left these in packages so you guys can actually see in case someone wants to order them. But once I take them out the packages, man, they roll up into nothing. This one is a knee guard. These be careful because I thought 
thought it was two, but it's only one per pack. So I had to order one, and then when I found out there's only one, I ordered another one. But I think these are really, really coming useful. And once we take them out of the packages, they're really nothing. Uh, you need something to walk around with at night when your shoes are all dirty. So these are super duper lightweight uh, Crocs. And we're gonna, oh, 45, look at that, my number. We're gonna attach these to our backpack. They don't weigh anything. All right, what else we got? So our hiking shoes, I went to REI and I tried on a whole bunch of them. Uh, and these were the Solomons, the X Ultra 4 Mid GTX. So these are the mid top shoes, but they felt really good. So we'll give it a go. You know, I've been hiking, as you guys know, in Kobe Bryant's all over the trails around here, so. And these are Gore-Tex, I believe. So they do uh, provide a little bit of uh, waterproof. And I like that the toes are shelled. That's a problem we ran into at uh, Mission Peak and Coyote Hills. When there is puddles and water, your toes get wet and it's just a horrible feeling. When you have this shell, you don't really worry about the puddles too much. It guards and protects. These are very lightweight and I like them. I just felt like I could really move. So in the store I took a little jog and these felt great. Along with those, we did pick up a pair of Dr. Scholl's inserts. So those will provide us a little bit of cushioning. Now there's ones you can get that are gel and stuff like that. But for longevity, because we're not really playing a 10 minute, 15 minute basketball game or anything like that. This is something that's gonna actually uh, create that cushion for maybe hours, hopefully, that's the goal. Uh, these bad boys here are gaiters, and gaiters basically go right over the shoe, so they'll protect the bottom of your foot down to the shoe, and that prevents while you're hiking, you know, little twigs and sticks getting into your shoe. So, never, never had gaiters, we'll try those out. Yeah, that's about it, and now to... Our main event here, uh, we got a dry pack here. So these are waterproof. This is a pretty large one. Now, I do have a few more coming. So we'll need one for the food, one for the electronics, and one more maybe for the clothes, just so our clothes stay dry. Um, now for the granddaddy of them all, the backpack and I tried on quite a few of them but at the end we went with Hyperlite this is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear 3400 this is waterproof so you don't really need someone because most of them they have that little lining the rain lining that you take out and you ask someone to put it over but with this you just keep hiking it's waterproof really lightweight and even though it's a 50 liter it actually opens up so you can fit much more than 50 liters so really good quality very lightweight and good build so you have these little hip holsters here. You could put whatever you want into these pouches. But since I'm carrying a Santa pack, you won't really uh, overload these. One thing I did like about the Hyperlites is, check out the zipper. The stitching goes over the zipper, so it's almost like it's watertight. Pretty cool. So you have the 
little pouches on both sides. Feel comfortable. Now the back doesn't have the arch or the support some of the heavier backpacks have. But it does have a little padding there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sit pad right along the inside. That should be plenty enough. And these little pouches that I was showing you guys earlier, these will actually go right here on either side. So you guys will see that a little bit later. So yeah, that's the backpack. I might even do a separate video for the big three. But for now, we'll just kind of walk through it all. For our quilt, some people call it a sleeping bag. We're first time backpackers. We have no idea what the difference is. I just call it a sleeping bag. Or I guess some people call it a quilt. This is the Nemo Disco 15. And this is the long one, if you're a little bit taller. Man, you would be surprised. I could even crunch this thing, squish it down, and then tighten it with these little clamps here. So it fits right on the bottom of your pack. And it is super warm, super duper warm. So the Nemo Disco 15, men's low. And it's rated 15 Fahrenheit, negative 9C, 650 FP down. Same as my jacket. Kinsies. And then this back, this uh, sleeping bag came with this little pouch. That's how big it was. You guys could see that. And I just you just scrunch it up into there. What I'm gonna do is. With this little thing they gave me, it fits right over my backpack. So when I go to the airlines, I'm actually gonna use that to cover it. That way nobody's touching your pouches or anything like that. And then the top, you can tie it. You can put a little, little lock on there if you want, but yeah, take that with me. It doesn't weigh anything, it covers the backpack. For those of you flying. Okay. All right, so now for your tent, I ordered the Hornet two-person tent from Nemo. Now, I had to order this one because REI and a lot of other places didn't have it. And when it came in the mail, it came in this tiny little box, and it's so lightweight, I thought they made a mistake. But no, this is it. This is the tent. Uh, we're going to take this out, we're going to do a test, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about this. Um, it's a two person tent, really lightweight, and this I might put it on the bottom of my uh, ultralight pack, so just strap it to the bottom. This was the cushion, the sit pack, so this one depends if I'm gonna go on a long trek I might keep it on the top of my pack uh, or I might just put it on the inside I'm not really sure yet we're gonna feel this one out but yeah, that's a little sit back this is our sleep pad and it's a generic brand we didn't go with Nemo this one had really good reviews and it has one of those puff bags that you just squish and it pumps it for you. So we might do a demonstration. The big three items, we'll do a demo. We'll take them with us. Um, and it's, it's really huge, but it packs down into this little bag. We also picked up uh, a pillow. I cannot even pronunciate that. Ricky Tiki. But I want to sleep comfortably, so I had to get myself a pillow. And of course, some earplugs. So, went through all the items, fam. Uh, this is about 90% of it. We're juiced. 
let's see what happens we got a few more items we're gonna pick up once we land and there's a few items still being shipped to its way uh, two hours later all right fam that's gonna wrap up our gears video I did mention a few times there's some items we're missing so I made a list for you guys just so you guys are aware we might pick up a water pack that goes into the backpack in the back there uh, they sell that at REI but I might or might not get that that's a optional thing we'll see how much our pack weighs once we get out there uh, trekking poles we're gonna pick up at the REI once we land uh, the M MSR Pocket Rocket 2 should be on its way. The gas canister we'll pick up at the REI when we land. Uh, hair gel we might get at the Walmart. Uh, the food, the MREs, the beef jerky, the smart water bottles. We're probably going to get two once we land out there. So uh, we'll get two mini lighters. Uh, the trowel, uh, aspirin, excedrin. Uh, a microfiber clot we're gonna put on the backpack uh, you know just to wipe off the sweat uh, keep your hands clean uh, toilet paper soap we'll pick it up over there and put in the Ziploc bags we'll need that uh, and maybe a mini umbrella because we got that hook already uh, switchblade we'll pick out over there I don't really want to take that on the plane uh, and maybe a permanent marker because a lot of the boards at the shelters they take the pens from what I've seen on the YouTube videos. So we'll have our own pen with us. Uh, items that are not here, but I do have. Uh, there'll be things like I'll carry on, like the tank tops, uh, my iPhone. I have an iPhone XS Max. Uh, tent liner, it's on its way. That's being shipped here. So a tent liner is what goes under the tent, you know, from keeping it uh, from getting moist or wet. And of course, my wallet. Whew. That was a long video, guys. But I hope it was informative. Hopefully, you guys subscribe. Follow me on the journey. Anybody out there that's already done these long trails, get into the comments. Give me some suggestions. I'm open to anything. Advice you guys got. Maybe I missed out or forgot something. Put in the comments. And I got to look into it. I got about two and a half weeks till we're on the trail. All right, fam. Much love. Respect. You guys have a good night. Catch you on the next episode. Peace.